Hello, Colors. Welcome back to Viva Barca and welcome to another interesting episode where we are going to discuss on the latest news. We start with Pablo Gavi, who have said no to PSG and Luis Enrique after strong links have emerged yet again. We are going to discuss on that as we move ahead. Secondly, talking about Joao Cancelo as Josh Mendes, the player's agent, who have a good relationship with Laporta, have assured Barca yet again that signing the Man City fullback is almost done. We are also going to be discussing more on that. So guys, as we get right into it, please do ensure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Turn on the post bell notification to always stay notified whenever I post a new video. Consider liking the video and please watch it right up to the very end. Having already raided FC Barcelona for Dembele in the summer, PSG had their eyes on yet another key player for Barcelona in the form of Pablo Gavi. Indeed, a report from France outlet RMC Sport saying that PSG, considering signing um, possibly the signing of Gavi um, this summer, Newly appointed manager Luis Enrique is a huge admirer of Pablo Gavi, having handed him his Spain debut two years ago. However, despite their obvious interest, Paris Saint-Germain quickly gave up any thought of signing Pablo Gavi this summer itself due to a multitude of factors. For starters, the relationship between those two clubs still remains dodgy especially after the entire Dembele fiasco and as such, PSG felt that the timing was wrong. On top of that, PS Gavi is a very important player for us. He is a player that Barca consider untouchable as well as non-transferable. The club handed Gavi a long-term contract until 2026, only last year, and have registered him as a first-team player with the squad or with the Spaniard taking over the number six iconic shirt. As such, Paris Saint-Germain were also aware that there would be no chance of negotiating with Barca for Gavi and even if there was one, the price would be too high. And thus, the Parisian giants did not press ahead with their interest in the 19-year-old starlet. Gavi Given that his contract registration had been an issue all through last season, there had been plenty of speculations in the early part of the summer about Gavi's future. Clubs like Bayern Munich and Chelsea were said to be interested, but Barcelona were never too worried about the situation, as the 19-year-old has always maintained that he wants to stay at the club. And as such, the rumors naturally die down, much like PSG's recent interest. There had also been murmurs that Gavi had been offered to the Parisians as part of the deal to sign Kylian Mbappe, which reportedly upset the midfielder, prompting him to have a talk with Xavi Hernandez. It is further indicative of the teenage wonder kid's desire to stay and to succeed at FC Barcelona. Of course, Pablo Gavi has always been an important player for us. Uh, and I think that it would be a big mistake for Barca to let him leave. Of course, it is great news that Barca see him as untouchable and non-transferable, despite Luis Enrique pushing PSG to sign him up. But this report is saying that PSG had already given up knowing that it will be next to impossible for the player to join them after, um, after Barca still suffering the, 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 you know, the, the, the pain from losing Usman Dembele, who have been crucial to Javi's plans. So there was no way Barca could have ever in their life also give Pablo Gavi to PSG. You know, it could have looked as if Barca are just making a fool of themselves to PSG. And PSG themselves knew that there was no way that could ever materialize. Of course, Pablo Gavi has not started the season because of his minor injury, but according to reports, he will be returning very soon 
to start competing again. I think Pablo Gavi is a player who plays for passion and I think that you know having him back will be a very great thing. It will be great to have him back. We hope that he comes back even better. Pablo Gavi, who just came like a joke, started featuring for the first team from La Masia under I think under Ronald Koeman back in 2021, has never looked back since. Pablo Gavi has remained an important player, won the Golden Boy Awards. I mean, he has had a successful career for a very short time as a player and he still has a lot ahead of him. Still at the age of 19, Pablo Gavi still has a lot to offer. Barca extended Gavi's contract last year until 2026 with a 1 billion euro release clause. And there's no way that Barca will be contemplating to negotiate with any club in the world right now for the player. Because even I think last summer, there were links to Manchester City and Liverpool, but Pablo Gavi refused all those links. Barca themselves refused as they want to keep the player for such a long time. So it remains to be seen how Pablo Gavi will perform this season. Of course, we know how Pablo Gavi is placed with so much passion and love for the club. And we hope that he continues to bring the difference in midfield. Then on to the final story of discussion. As Barca continue to chase Manchester City fullback Joao Cancelo, a report from ND has now emerged that the Portuguese super agent George Mendes has assured Barca that the signing of a Joao Cancelo is almost a done deal. Cancelo is the front runner in Barca's pursuit of a right back. Now there are other alternatives such as Ivan Fresneda and Juan Foyt. But the management is either not too sure about one or the operation is too expensive for the other. As far as Cancelo is concerned, Javi is said to be the 29 year old admirer and considering the fact that he has no place at Man City, a deal is indeed possible. Considering the current state of finances, Barca are largely expected to approach this transfer in a different way. The growing sense of belief is that uh, Barcelona would chase a loan deal with an affordable purchase option. MD writes that a source close to George Mendes has confirmed that the operation is indeed feasible for Barca as things stand. Above all, the Portuguese agent has informed Barca that they can relax over the matter as the deal is almost done. As far as the player is concerned, there is no denying the fact that he prefers to move to Barca and in order to change the environment, he is even willing to adjust his salary as by the Barca salary scale. Why Barca and Cancelo are ready to move, the parties involved are only waiting for Man City's approval and the Premier League champions are also delaying the players' documents. So guys, with that, we have come to an end of this episode. Thanks a lot for watching. Until next time, bye-bye.